what is up guys it is coaster thrills and today we are here at bg dub bush gardens williamsburg and yes i am back with the vlogs this is my first vlog since like last summer and man we are here at bg dub they have the whole christmas event i am absolutely pumped they have alpengeist invader verboten and they also have Fenigan's Flyer. All of them are open. We're going to be being here. We booked reservations for both times from 11 to 3. We're actually here at 12. And we booked it from 5 to 10. So the rides probably won't be open then. It's pretty cold now. Finally, I am back with the vlogs. Let's go. There's Tempesto and Apollo. They will not be running, but still, it's going to be a fantastic day. I have not been here since 2018. So obviously, as you can see, I'm super pumped. Some of the main rides won't be open. The only like main coaster that will be open is Alpi, Alpengeist, but still, I haven't ridden that in a while, so I'm excited to ride that again. Yes, the fun does begin here. Obviously, it is too crowded today, guys. I mean, it is too crowded, bro. It is almost nobody here. I've heard it hasn't been that crowded during this Christmas event. Well, we get tons of rides on the great coasters I want to ride today. Always a great time just walking into this park. I don't know why, to me, this place just feels like a better atmosphere than my home park, Bush Gardens, Tampa, but it's just, the atmosphere is really nice of course it's one of the best theme parks in the world what do you expect so we are in the park and always greeting you at bush gardens williamsburg is the england area this area it's a great entrance for our park and it's even nice look at those reefs absolutely gorgeous but we're gonna go to finning its fires first i the last time i was here i did not get to ride it because it was not open so it is an SNS Scream and Swing, so excited to ride that. So we made it over to Finnegan's Flyer, and I just rode this thing. This is an SNS Scream and Swing. It's about to go right now. But this thing is super fun. I got great Scream and Swing. I wouldn't say it's the best one, but the view over the rest area right here, it is one fantastic view. And as you can see, it's going right there. So you get some also some great airtime, but it's also the view of both Alpi, Griffin, and Loch Ness is really great. So yes, I have to ride Grover's Alpine Express. It's a credit, so yes, I'm gonna ride it. Backseat, let's go. Just like Air Grover's. So oh, yep, here we go. Let's get on this thing. So obviously we're heading back around the area where Pantheon is and Tempesto and Apollo is closed for right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna head over this way, we'll go over to Vader then Alpi, and then Verboten, and maybe get some shots of Pantheon, we'll see. Right there is Griffin once again. Back there, as you can see, was Battle for Ire. I have not ridden that yet. It's closed for this Christmas event, so that's unfortunate, but still, we're going to be walking over to Invader. Invader, really solid family GCI. I love the trains, the, the old Gwazi trains, actually. I just got some really solid three rides on Invader. Man, I mean, this is a fantastic family wooden coaster. It has some decent uh, pops of airtime. I mean, it has gotten a little rougher, but it's nothing at all com compared to any rough wooden coasters. There it goes. But it it's definitely, like, you can definitely handle it easily. But this is a fantastic coaster for our families. It is, they hit it out of the park with this one. I mean, especially, I, I wrote, I've rode it many times, but man, this is a very, very fun wooden coaster. This right here is honestly probably one of the best places in the whole park. You get this whole view of Alpengeist, a little bit of Griffin, and then you also, that view of Alpi, and then that view of Invader. It's a fantastic sh spot to get all shots you would really want. I just got off of Alpi twice. I'm gonna go again. There is that uh, first Immelman. I got the twice front and back and go right again. I think of maybe doing test cycles for the cleaning, but as you can see, it is going right there. But man, this thing, it's pretty fun. I mean, it's 195 feet, definitely not the best invert, probably because of the cold. It is a little bit sluggish at times, so I'm gonna go right again. So this thing is pretty solid though. I still like it. The inversions are pretty fun. It's not really rough at all, but old school B&M. Just got a count of three rides on Fair Bolton one of the best family coasters out there the main thing you can see right here is wow that thing right there pantheon it is under construction oh look at that top hat look at everything it's unfortunately i don't think they'll open this pathway so that's really unfortunate this is about the only construction i'll get so you may not see a pantheon construction update video but still it looks absolutely insane even from this angle you can see all of that stall that outer bank turn that top hat and that spike and you can even see some of the inversions throughout the layout from here but man that thing looks insane 
and we're gonna wrap out the first part of our day because they are closing it's three o'clock but then they'll open at five brew 10 it will be there for that so probably the next time you'll see this vlog maybe something will unexpected will happen but you may just see the next clip in a couple seconds at later in the day and just like that we are back here in the park now over there they are waiting so we're going to wait because we're about 30 minutes early from five so we're going to go in hopefully get some rides on the coaster before it goes under 40 so hopefully i'll get some rides on more rides on alpi for bolton and invader so hopefully we'll get those because it's gonna go under pretty fast especially at five and then probably by six the coasters won't be open anymore but we'll see i got a ride in invader very fun but that sunset man pink sky it was absolutely gorgeous but now i'm gonna go ride alpi up and guys hopefully get another sunset ride it's absolutely gorgeous as you can see but man really excited to ride up guys it's getting colder but man i'm excited though Yes, I just got off of 39 degrees sunset rise on Alpengeist, second to back row. Insane. That is, oh, there goes. It, it, it's one of the top two universes, probably top five for me. It's definitely not better than Montu, definitely not better than Raptor, definitely not better than uh, Afterburn, but and there may be one that's better than it in the top five, another one to take a spot, but it's this is insane. I'm riding it again. It's really good. It's really weird that the trims were off a little bit less that on that mid-course brake run. So it's running a little bit faster in the second half, but still there were some brakes at the top of it. So I'm gonna re-ride it. <laughs> if you can't really see it from here, but it really does look like the dark forest from here. Yeah, we're gonna go ride for Bolton. Wow. <laughs> right as I say, yeah, they closed it. They closed for Bolton. But yeah, as you saw there, you know, it just closed right as I was talking, but it's okay. We're gonna, uh, I'm assuming Up and Guys is closed too, and of course, Invader with for Bolton. So now all the coasters are closed. It's definitely getting colder, so it makes sense. Let's go into Santa's workshop because, uh, rip dark castle. Rip, just rip. Bro, it's 37 degrees out, and we're about to get night rides on Up and Guys. Once again, second to back row. But yeah, they're supposed to stop at a 40. And just like that, before my last ride of the day, night ride, they got it closed. <laughs> it's funny how they say, we just reached our minimum temperature, even though it's been that for like 30 minutes. But yeah, they just sanitized the train, so the sanitizer really set us back, but you know, it's actually a pretty decent station weight. So yeah, but we're gonna start heading out. We're actually gonna look at some of the more Christmas lights and then we're going to go on the train and then we're gonna leave what, tomorrow. We're gonna be heading over Dollywood. On the way, we'll be stopping at Wilderness Run Alpine Coaster, so stay tuned for that. It's kind of an out way Alpine Coaster, but it's actually pretty new, so I'm pumped for that. But we're walking around the park, seeing some of the beautiful Christmas lights here at BG Dub. Just rode the last ride of the day for uh, me. So I rode the train. Uh, only rode half of it, but then I got some cool merch. I got actually like, a Pantheon, a Nagaral 2020, which is kind of funny, but I got a pin for that. 2020 BG Dub pin. And then I also got like an Alpine Geist pin. So that's really nice. But we're going to end off the vlog here. Um, tomorrow, once again, is Wilderness Run Alpine Coaster. And right here is the whole England section with all these Christmas decorations. It looks absolutely beautiful. But of course, I'm going to end out two days of video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. As you can see, we're ending it out with this beautiful England section with all the Christmas lights. But once again, hope you guys enjoyed. And see ya.